as a human being we're made up of the body and the mind and it is the fact that almost everybody spends much of their effort and time focusing on their body. They're interested in their physical health, they want to do exercise, they're concerned uh, when they get sick or, or, or they do something about it or they try to change their, um, their uh, lifestyle if they are constantly ill. Uh, they're very concerned about what they put in their body in terms of food and so on and that. But it's not common that people spend a lot of time um, keeping their mind in a good state of health. Um, and yet, really, it's very much as the Buddha said, mano pubanga ma dhamma, mano sitta, mano maya. Everything focuses on circles around the mind. I mean, if we say a person is a good person or a nice person, that generally we're not referring to any of their physical characteristics, we're referring to their personality. Uh, whether they're welcoming and kindly or whether they're not and that is uh, related to their state of mind, their, their inner life. So uh, in Buddhism, Buddhism is, has some concern about the body but we don't really have to talk about that too much because people naturally are concerned about their body. They're concerned about what it looks like, I forgot to mention that. But when it comes to the mind, not much attention is given to that. So the Buddha is concerned about marshalling the whole of the person uh, in the spiritual life, both the body and particularly the mind. So then we ask the question, well, what do we do about it and what have you? Then we've got to start looking at our mind. And the first step in this is what we would call uh, meditation. The Pali word for it is bhavana which means something like um, to cultivate, to transform, to change, to make it grow. Okay, And that's pretty much what uh, meditation is supposed to be about. The first step in this would be turning one's attention to and having a good look at what we're doing with our mind, what's in it, what's coming out of it. Um, how we respond to the messages that it gives us and so on. And all of this requires looking within and that's pretty much what um, meditation is about. So what we do uh, to, to start this process is to sit quietly somewhere, uh, put your body in a relaxed state and then turn your attention to your mind. Now, the Buddha was a uh, careful enough psychologist that he understood exactly what would be the easiest way to do this. So he asked us to turn our attention inward and look at the movement of a breath, the in and out movement of a breath. Try it one day. And the first thing that you'll notice is your thoughts keep on interrupting. They take your attention away from the in and out movement to your breath to whatever's there, some thought about yesterday or some memory or some planning that you're going to do after this exercise and so on. So the more you look at the breath, the more you notice your mind and the more you notice what's in your mind. And that is the very beginning of the process of changing. Now I'm starting to see what's going on inside. And that's very important because what's going inside uh, will have some role in motivating my behavior, my speech and what have you. So this is uh, what meditation is for and this is the beginnings of the process of transforming ourselves completely, not just physically but psychologically also.